I'm one of two sisters. I have two daughters, each of whom has two daughters of their own. I'm also Chief Officer of an organisation that guides health policy, so I'm in a position of some influence, and I move in circles with some scarily influential women. So I have a major investment in women, and alcohol may present a risk if women don't find their own way. In the past, boozy lunches and long corporate dinners were legendary in the private sector, and often the way things get done in politics, diplomacy, judiciary, banking and maybe also journalism. Should women adopt these traditional behaviours from the past that most of us know to be dangerous to our health? Women are a rare sight at the bar, by which I mean the courts rather than the pub. Speaking to a female advocate called to the bar 20 years ago, being in such a minority makes her extremely aware of her behaviour and vulnerability to criticism. She knows some of her male colleagues may attend court or meet with a client after a lunchtime drink, something she would never do. In sharp contrast, women now make up over half of practising solicitors in Scotland. A friend said to me, I think business is being increasingly done via coffee these days. In a time-tight world, it's possible to do four coffees in a day, but only one lunch or dinner where alcohol is involved. As for myself, at the staff Christmas party, Everyone knows I'm driving, so nobody expects me to drink. But even if I stayed over, I wouldn't. My intent here is to remain clear-headed and in control at work, rather than for health or for setting an example to other women. I do believe there is some evidence that alcohol can entrap rather than empower some women, and that senior women are playing the game in their own way. Women don't have the same tradition of doing business over dinner or drinks. We often have multiple roles and society still judges us differently. Our relationship with alcohol is complicated and may have as much to do with performance and expectations as concerns over our health. Mm -hmm.